Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta. This is something that you, my dear subscribers and viewers, have asked quite a few times. How to use harmonizer, pitch shifter, chorus, delay, reverb to widen your guitar tone. I'm just gonna use plugins on this one. The gear is kind of hybrid, super strat, Tokai, Warmoth, EMG81, straight into audio interface. Then I have a Brainworks SD1 yellow drive plugin into soft use Marshall JMP2203. And that's it. All right, rock and roll. Right. First, let's go through this with a guitar, and then I'm gonna show how I use the, the plugins in the mix to make guitar wider and more interesting. What I have here now is a demo guitar track, as it says. It's a stereo track now. Okay, so a little bit of a room in there, which is soft tubes char. This is one way to make your guitar wider, but it's, it can be a little bit messy. I usually have it like this. On my YouTube videos and on many, many mixes I've done for rhythm guitars, rhythm guitar bass is a stereo, and usually I have it like this. You can't really hear that it's a reverb. It's kind of almost kind of like blending in a room mic a little bit. It just makes it a little bit wider and bigger. All right, so that's one thing. You know, pre-delay, five milliseconds, reverb time, one second, high cut in there, medium room, you know, works great. I, I use this sometimes on, on vocals and drums because it, it's on my aux channels here and then I just blend that in. So that's one thing. Then another thing is what I use a lot is a Dimension D chorus. It's this one. Basic. This is said like this always, and I use this on bass, vocals, guitars, sometimes even on drums, just to make a little bit more wider and a little bit more movement. Let's listen to how this sounds. <laughs> Like that. It just makes it wider because it's wow wow doing like this. And yeah, the yellow drive is this, and then the the Marshall. Without it's like a, you know JMP. <laughs> Okay, then, even tide. This is my go-to setting. So it's left side 0, 0 0.5, right side 0 0.995, no, 1.005. And let's listen to what happens when I blend this in. Little bit too much. Kind of familiar sound. Then when we add a let's have a tape delay. Thank you. 
Yeah. So what happens is there is it changes the pitch so, so that they are, they are different on, on the sides, and then with the with the you know it's a tape delay, so a little bit different delay times on the sides. It just makes it really wide. So that's the kind of thing what I use when I'm, I'm just jamming a nulling around a, a stereo track. And on, on my videos, I, I uh, these are you know zero, but I usually have a small amount of this room. So check out when I check it out. It really, it's hard to hear, but it just feels like a little bit more roomy. Maybe I could increase it a little bit. Now it sounds like the, the guitar is, is mic'd in a room with a little bit of room. I play it in. maybe a bit more. We could use the harmonizer here as an insert, like this, and then you just use the blend in here. So let me show you. It's a little bit too much, it's kind of goes, you know, dogs are barking. That's, that's pretty cool, but mostly I just like how it sounds and feels when I blend that in so it's 100% wet, then I just blend that effect in into a dry sound, so the sound isn't like going through the harmonizer, but uh, it, it's uh, blended into the dry sound. Okay, then if I record something, it's always mono tracks, like here, I have three mono tracks here. And then they all go, always when I mix, I use buses. So rhythm guitars go to rhythm guitar bus, like you see here. This is my mixing template. Bass, mono bass tracks goes to bass stereo track. Here's the rhythm guitars, rhythm guitar, lead guitars, mono tracks. They go to stereo bus. And then on, this, on these buses, I have these three effects I, I use the, the most. And then on these buses, I have, you know, Usually I, I put a delay, because sometimes I, I change that. I mostly use this JPEG goes pretty much like 90%. Sometimes I use something else, but very occasionally. So okay, now we have now we are here. Demo bus. So the center guitar, this guitar, it's dry. <laughs> It's not because there's a delay on the on the bus. Now it's Troy. Okay, now I can blend in the even time. And then we, when we add the echo. It's even wider. I can do the same with a dimension D chorus. Because 
pitch shifter and chorus are really similar. So chorus changes the pitch, but it just goes like this with the basic chorus pedal. With the depth knob, you, you pretty much what you do, you change the, the pitch, how much it's out of tune. With the rate, it's like how fast it, it goes, the wave. So the dry signal is like this, with chorus it goes like this. With the harmonizer in, in the pitch shifting mode, it's, it's like a steel chorus. So normal, then you alter it a little bit, then it goes like this, whereas chorus goes like this. Really similar, so harmonizer pitch shifter is pretty much a steel chorus. I use both, sometimes I use the Dimension D, sometimes the harmonizer, whatever feels the best, works the best in a mix. Okay, that's that. Then let's take this down and put these two in. So what I have there now is it's the same single guitar track, same Marshall BXL drive. <laughs> It's panned hard left and hard right, but it sounds like it's a mono, because it's a mono, mono in, you know, and same way for how we can make it wider. Well, what I have here is this 8949, this is my favorite harmonizer pitch shifter plugin, it's eventized all. It's, it's made after the original 8949, for example, Van Halen used back in the day. If we engage this, listen. So this is kind of the Van Halen way uh, on, on Balance album and many other albums, 5150. So it sounds like it's two guitars, because the, the right one is a few millicents down, and if we add delay to that, then it's... Cool tone, right. What we also can do is we can add different delays to these channels. So this is a uh, Membrini Audio you know, H3000, 798 on the right, 398 on the left, you know, Van Halen settings. Okay, so what happens now? And then we add this, which is set up like this, and the right is set up a little bit differently. Okay, listen. So now kind of the wet sounds are on the sides. And then if I play the dry signal in the center, in. Yeah. 
This is cool way and what you can do also, because now the, the mix is like 30%. But if I put the mix fully wet on both sides, it's, my, it's called my live setting. So now it's 100% wet, so it's only delay. Check this out. It's only the delays which are harmonized. Then we put pan the center, put the center in. See, you can find a live sound, you know, and then you can blend it in. As much that you want for delay. So let's say if you have a only one guitar in the mix, so you can do many different things. You can put it center and then just copy the tracks to two other tracks, pan them, and delay and harmonizer on them. Or then you can do this, you know, just uh, let's say left is dry. Nothing, and the right has the harmony. You know, one guitar, but it sounds like like two. So this is really cool thing what you can do with the harmonizer, and you have to be really careful. My go-to setting is you know 0.998. If you put more, it starts to sound out of tune. Listen. Just two cents, a couple of cents. With the stereo, I you can do a little bit more if you, you know, pitch shift both sides. Anyway, I guess you got the point. If you noodle with a stereo track, you can put it as an insert, the stereo version, and the sides a little bit differently, and then just use the mix knob. This has it, I, I think many plugins nowadays have the mix knob. This is my favorite pitch shifter harmonizer. You can do it that way, or then you can have it as an aux, aux like FX channels, like I have here. Mix 100%, then I can just blend it in like that. I like it this way, because like I said, this is my mix template. So the guitars isn't, aren't the only thing that I, I use this. So I blend that in on many, like the Dimension D. You know, it's here on rhythm guitars, it's here on bass, it's many times it's on vocal buses, so you don't have to have a million different plugins. And these plugins, they always said like this for me. Number two in. That's my chorus Dimension D sound. Works for everything. Guitars, bass, vocals, drums, keyboards. 
and the harmonizer, it's always set like this on my aux. And this room reverb, it's called room. It's set like this, and then I just played it in according to chest. Now I've been talking like, okay, then when you mix, but let's check out now a full mix I just did for a Finnish band. Young guys, really talented, great rock, rock and metal band. They're releasing an, a new EP later this year. I just mixed the, the first single of that because I used pretty much this because there's two guitar players. They both play solos. There's harmon harmonizing them. They have doubled them. Really cool song. Let's move into that next. The band is called Woodstripe, hailing from Kuopio, Rock City, Finland. Let's listen now the solo part and then I'm gonna show and explain to you what happens there. And the song is called Name on the Shell. As you hopefully heard and saw what I did, so there is a harmonizer and stereo delay. So again, two lead guitars, it's doubled in unison, so no, no harmonizers, it's really cool. And I put it the harmonizer on the, the double, I just two millicents, cents, whatever it is, down, you know, 998. And then the stereo delay. And the same with Miro, the other guitar, this was Alexi. The same with, with Miro's leads. And then there was this uh, ending, with, there was some extra bends and de -de 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 -de, that kind of stuff. There I have the harmonizer really loud on that bus. So these are all mono tracks, they go to stereo buses, like I explained. And then I, now the automation was off, but on the mix I automa automated a throw delay, which is a CLA Epic plugin. So what I have there is basically four different <laughs> delays going into four different reverbs. So it's really wet. The mix is 100% wet, and then I just blend that in. This is uh, put it like uh, pre faders, and these are post faders. So yeah, that's that. Now let's listen then. Actually, I'm gonna take these off and put them in the center so you hear better how, how it affects the harmonizer on the, on the stereo uh, picture. If you put it like this, So I can do, you can do many things by blending in chorus or harmonizer and whatnot. Let's put this back on and listen it solo, how it actually was mixed. It's very subtle here since they are pan, but it kind of it take, makes the pitch a little bit down. It also reduces some of the, the high end. So it actually is also kind of like an EQ. So the double is a little bit darker. Without a harmonizer, it was a little bit narrower, narrower, narrower although they are panned to left. And it was a little bit without a harmonizer. So small things, but small things makes, makes the difference. Okay, then let's, let's listen to Miro's guitars. <laughs> Again, the, the same thing, thing happened. And let's listen all guitars solo. Oh, it was obviously really wide now. Two guitars both doubled in, in unisono. Then the harmonizer, then an occasional throw delay in there. And on both guitars, guitarists, Miro's bus, the tape echoes I showed, and same thing on, on, on Alexis. 
And these are, I, I didn't use on the mix. I just wanted to show you what you can do. And obviously, with the door, you know, you just press right. You can automate all these moves. Like I have automated the panning and, and stuff. And, and this throw delay was automated, but not, now it's, uh, it's off. So you can do really, really cool things. Let's listen this once more, the whole part. Like that. Once more. You can use harmonizer, pitch shifter to widen the tone, to put it on the stereo bus, or to put it on the mono track, the mono version, for two guitars on, on the double. It makes it a little bit different pitch, much more interesting, in my opinion. And same time, the EQ kind of moves, because it, it makes it a little bit darker, because it's lower pitch, you know. And then you can also use a, a chorus. Like I said, pitch shifter is pretty much like a static chorus. It's just a different tone. With chorus, it's more wobblier and so on. And then by using different delays and different reverbs, you can create these big landscapes, you know, larger than life guitars. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this interesting and informative and I hope that you, you got some, something <laughs> out, out from this. There's many ways to do things. I've been doing it like this pretty successfully for quite ma many years on my own productions, uh, mixing my own bands, mixing other, other bands, producing. This is the way, way I do it. Mono guitars into stereo buses, then FX tracks that what I just blend in, just like it sounds to me a little bit better like that. You know the real thumbs up, subscribe, spread the word if you will, and all that stuff. You know the real. <laughs> Take care. See you on the next one. Bye.